seems to be a shadow magic item by the by your guess of it, by the by the look of it. Um, you don't know what it does. You'd have to handle it and identify. Uh, uh, is it all right with you if I cast an identify spell upon it? Uh, we 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 already know what it does. I want to see what he lands. He looks around, I guess, to the to the, to uh, Lady Opal. Yeah, she nods. She's waiting okay. for for her entourage to let her know if this would be a bad idea. No, no, Arlen, Arlen nods. Go ahead. He, he, Let's see what uh, what you've got. He casts identify upon the upon it. And that's a plus ten to yep. spellcraft check. Right, so. Fuck, thirty-five. Still pretty good. I roll the four. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> fuck thirty-five. Oh, the the roll is poor. Your bonus is amaze balls. Okay. Uh, uh, I think I put the item on Wilbur's sheet. It is a little bit more difficult to ascertain. Um, the identify, I believe, is 11 plus spell level for spellcraft to identify something. You know that this was more. This was harder to do because you were using magic and not shadow weave to look mm -hmm. at it. It's 15 plus caster level. So a normal item, you got 20th level. For this one, you got 15th. Okay. There is nothing about this item that is above fifteenth that you know of, and All of right. course, it, it, the 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 magic is just very difficult to spot, and it takes you a little while to get to it. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular iron stone grants sixty foot dark vision, or increases the racial dark vision by thirty feet. And um, the person who has it above them can understand, read, write, and speak a strange language that we'll just simply call the shadow tongue. Okay. It's an iron, it's otherwise an iron stone that floats above your head and is a shadow magic item. Per use, i.e. putting it up into the air above your head yeah. will uh, rot your wisdom. Uh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and he shares this. Um, you also, through your past research, know that a shadow star was given to each of the lords and their knights. Okay. And he shares that as well. So there was, what, four lords? Each had a knight? So eight of them? Eight of them, yes. Right, let's go, go here, shadow star. We're put brackets. One of eight. Just to egg you on to collect them all. Gotta collect them all. Gotta get them all. <laughs> they turn into I will mega, the dark mega, all the things. <laughs> mega shadow star. <laughs> Think about this way. That would be make sixty wish. plus uh, two hundred and ten foot dark vision. It would be like two hundred seventy foot dark vision. So we see really far in the dark, and then read that language real good. <laughs> Interesting, she says. But what about this? as she pushes a bag on which is sitting this strange looking compass the compass yeah. has no needle knowledge arcana arcana 29 um there are magical compasses that are called like wayfinders, mm. um, wayfinders are magical compasses that you put iron stones in, and they do different things depending on what iron stone was placed inside of. May I see the shadow star? Yeah, it's on the table near, near Widget's fingers. Who are like really close, to, kind of <laughs> kind of guarding <laughs> it grabs, he, he <laughs> grabs it. Okay. Oh yeah, it feels weird in your hands. Okay, he quickly tries to open. He tries to open up the compass. Yeah, or... the the compass face is kind of it's open. All right, he drops the star. The okay, roll star. a d three. <laughs> uh, you might want three. to be quick. Oh. oh, 
Yeah, you, you feel weird as you activate the there we go. Item. Uh, you take three wisdom <laughs> That's damage. That's how you learn. <laughs> oh, did not enjoy that. <laughs> your eyes went black for a moment, and you've got a little bit of blood coming into your nose, and you're like, oh. And that's what I was warning about. <laughs> and and the shadow star kind of go, it, it flutters inside in the middle, and then uh, quickly kind of elongates into almost like a pointy D8, and is pointing... Somewhere generally in the northern direction. All right, where is it pointing compared to the last time it was pointing compared to where we are on the map now? Because I got two locations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, knowledge you as you're, as you're I am to a geographer. <laughs> I am a geographer. I will learn more geography. Come on, come compass. On. Let me help you out. 27. Okay. You're, you're, I am a geographer. You're pretty sure with a with can, a um a very accurate either. map. You'd be able to. Uh, <laughs> you'd be able to try and. I've got an estimate. If it's like thirty something degrees that way, and it's twenty something degrees that way, if I can. Anybody can. If anybody else can aid, I can get thirty. It's it's far. Is it pointing to Terra's Lane where the Citadel by the Lake would be? Uh, yeah. That's what I'm it's not. I, it's I not, need no, a map. It's, it's no, not pointing else. at. It's pointing somewhere in that vicinity. Just like, up uh, way up there. Way up there. Give me a fucking map. I need a map. <laughs> map. An old priest and a young priest. A moment. <laughs> a moment. Oh, oh, that really hurts. Ow. You guys I don't will get a have map. a map of. Uh, of uh, I need a map. <laughs> That's why I'm yelling. Hey, yo, wizard, map. <laughs> he he sends his unseen servant to get grab a map. Okay, so you guys grab a map. I'm not gonna take out the map right now. I haven't like put all the dots on yeah, that yeah, yeah. but but you're you kind of draw some lines and yeah. yeah whatever this is it's north of citadel by the lake all right citadel by the lake's like, like, on like, the way. Like, like it's like it's up there basically you go by citadel by the lake before going to where these approximate lines are widget doesn't really care about citadel by the lake he wants to go to that dot <laughs> yep. but yeah you notice a very large mountain range nearby um um yeah, it's it's far up there. Yeah. And this goes with like how accurate this map is. Widget knows that if this map is kind of if like, this map is all out of scale, all out of scale, all doesn't work. Yeah, that's right. This is temp Widget this is also knows that he's going to be putting like knowledge, geography, and shadow craft in his int item. These are the skills he wants. <laughs> but based on um... how you traveled, you're guessing that you're hoping the point hasn't moved. Assuming the point hasn't moved, it is pointing in this towards a thing far up north are you feel are you feeling all right phineas and it is not it is it is not compass north like you're not just getting yeah. like hey, that's no that kind of thing was rather awful yeah i can, it, help. It is... I can help if you if you so he picks yeah. it up and kind of hmm. like he, move he, it a little he, bit actually, back and forth to see if the if the needle keeps like if there's the slightest perception like he I, wants to experiment no it's too far away it's too far yeah, away to awesome. get a different... Uh... It's perfect! It means it's really far away! That means it's not close. Mm, we're not getting a false reading. <laughs> he he looks have... at Arlen and hesitates for us. Arlen just offered to heal. Hmm. He looks at Arlen and hesitates for a moment and says, If you would be so kind, I would appreciate that. <laughs> Take some three rounds and you recover three... Wisdom. Okay, give Sorry. me a knowledge arcana as Arlen is now casting and... and um... 41. <laughs> Arlen didn't take out a holy symbol. He just simply touched the weird um, iridescent pink scale that is on his forehead. Uh, okay. There was a lot of light involved and it felt it felt okay. Um, mm -hmm. Your head no longer hurts. Thank you. Did it do anything? For, no, that was con drain. Never mind. Um... How did you... Where did that come from? In the light. What 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 light? It's... I don't understand. What, what what is that thing? Everything has a source. So does the light. Yes, I'm asking about the source of that thing on your head. <laughs> it's called the source behind the light. Oh, religious people. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Does, do you have ranks in knowledge religion? I do. 
Okay. Thirty-one. Uh there oh, was a sorry, curious. Was, oh, sorry, sorry, not thirty-one. That's twenty-one. I hit twenty. Okay. Um, it, the way he spoke kind of reminds you of some. You might want to dig into it more. Kind of the way they described the forces of light in the ancient, the ancient Shadow War. Ah, okay. He thinks he's putting two to two together now. Why they're looking into this stuff? Ah. Yep. Very well. Um, I, before you leave, Arlen, um, could I have a word with you? <laughs> yes, of course, Phineas. Um, uh, uh, you, you don't mind if I call you Phineas? Uh, of course not. That's perfectly fine. So Nobody's anyway. going to end up poisoned, right? That would be real terrible. He, his eye kind of goes like, what? What? What are you doing? Uh, like, <laughs> it's go time. Magic missiles. Is, um... No, no, seriously. Nobody's going to get poisoned if we leave you alone with a healer. What? Just checking. I'll be fine. Okay, then. <laughs> Um, he wheels out into, into the hallway. Uh, Radimer <laughs> turns to the others and says, He's quite knowledgeable. He's got really smooth fingers. Mm. Imperial wizards. Although he is quite young for his level of skill. But a soft babes. Okay, Mr. Pickles is just simply kind of like, kind of like tapping at the uh, at the at the shadow uh, compass, making the thing go around, and then it points, and then he's tapping it again, hitting it. What can I uh, do for you, uh, Phineas? Um, I have a wound that doesn't seem to be healing. I was wondering if you could perhaps have a look at it. Let's look at his goiter. <laughs> this itch won't go away. <laughs> this was from um, yeah. the night hag. The night hag's claws yeah, me, or something. Yeah. yeah. Let me take a look. Um, he pulls his robes aside and he's got a fucking oh, stabby it, wound. <laughs> it's on your, it's in your butt. What? <laughs> D twenty plus this. Why would you? Uh, Thirty three. Yeah, you recognize the con drain when you see it. You've been drained. What have you been fighting? I received that wound while fighting a night hag. Ah, excellent. Good to know that evil is everywhere. <laughs> he kind of looks at you like shocked. Like, why would you say such a thing? <laughs> it's sarcasm. <laughs> is it? Oh, great. I, I, it's I, I, everywhere. I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not good with sarcasm. Oh, people. noted. Um, so... Let's see. Um, what spell would get rid of the drain? Restoration. It, uh, restoration? With 100 gold piece diamond dust. Yeah, give me a sec here. I don't think I have that yet. Fourth level. Yeah, I do. Um, yes, I, I could get rid of that for you. Um, I just... Would you happen to have 100... Uh, well, diamond dust? Uh, I need about 100 gold worth. And I could do that for you tomorrow if you are around. I would be most appreciative. I can acquire the components today. Are you telling me that you've got restorations and we got people to party with drained ability scores and you're just being like doo, 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 Wait, doo, doo, which doo, doo, guys doo, doo. have drained? <laughs> Mortensi actually has uh, Mortensi uh, Mortensi doesn't Mort want to get healed. And Widget. Widget's got it too, yeah. Oh, Widget's also uh, a bit of a dick, so... <laughs> No, I, I didn't realize I didn't realize you were injured. Yeah, well, you guys have you to kind of ask for that sort of thing. Like, owie! We didn't know we could do that because we said before we said we have this problem. Ah, it hurts to feel uh, bad. What, what's interesting, Phineas, is that um, uh, Arlen's offering. He's willing. He oh, seems gosh. to be willing to uh, uh, just cast the spell for you without charging you like spellcaster fees. He should be at least um, charging you, and you're guessing. Um, 
I don't know, four two hundred like two hundred and eighty gold for the casting this, if not more. You're not on top of the diamond dust? You're not requiring you're just going to heal me for the dust? Um you've aided us and you've aided the countess. Um we're part of a Ludus, you're part of a Ludus. I think we we can become friends. Well, I certainly don't see any reason why not. Um, I do not mind at all. Um, you, I'm not doing this for profit. I'm doing this because it's required. All right. I should warn you, in this city, that's a very rare thing. I only do it with the understanding people. I know. I understand the dangers of doing it in the street randomly. I, oh, I was yes, yes. informed not to do that. Um, <clears throat> you should also be aware that the um, certain spells can only be cast with the approval of the church, mm. regardless of what your god happens to think. I <laughs> see. You should be casting an arm. Um, I need to get a list of that. I need See, a perception sure check from Phineas and Arlen as there's something warbling and shifting invisibly up the stairs towards both of you. 18. Oh! <laughs> Say what? <laughs> oh, 18 does not see the invisible creature approaching. There is nope. going to be a less than closed crazy wizard showing up soon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, 22 does not see it, so it gets a surprise round against the two of you. It is focusing on Phineas, and I think we're going to clear a little bit of a map as somebody is attacking the tower. Okay. Um. <laughs> I said no poisoning! <laughs> It is dangerous to be around Phineas because Phineas has enemies. It's dangerous to attack a guy in a wheelchair because he's got an UG. <laughs> UG's not here. UG's not here. UG will find you. UG will find, find, find you. find you. <laughs> what, after your corpse? UG will lying. find you and UG will break you. Uh, so I'm going to open up the initiative sheet. Uh, the DM is also going to take a quick washroom break while you guys fill out said initiative sheet. Okay. You've kind of annoyed a lot of people, actually. Yeah, he does that. And then vicariously, we've annoyed a lot of people, so that you've like you've part of the we have annoyed a lot of I'll people. Right <laughs> the little quick links is already out. It's like ah, no, not that time. <laughs> as soon as she, the queen gets there, she'll open it. She's like, <laughs> kill them all! Like, wow. <laughs> It's basically salad fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner than I thought it would happen. Blah. No, we're just going to keep, like, <laughs> casting open clothes on the gate. <laughs> so, whatever she's locked in. Just... <laughs> <laughs> if we ever get Sid back. When we get Sid back. What's the, take, the next one? Is the next kid gonna be called months. like sad or sud or sod? <laughs> He's. Uh, it's gonna take, I believe, what nine months. Oh yeah, Sid's it's, dead, it's... baby. Sid's dead. <laughs> Sid's dead, baby. Sid's dead. Oh no. Oh no, you know. Do, 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 do. All right. The initiative combat sheet. Do we use the Dread and Circus combat sheet, or do we use the other one? Um, I'm assuming it's the Dread and Circus because we outnumber you. Probably, Through sheer but... power of will and might and a more tenzi. Yeah, we'll just add Phineas to that. Wing 
All right. And this person did not see that there's a whole room full of slayers. All he sees is a dude in a weird chair. <laughs> and uh, if this is nerd nerd boy MacGuffin, that will be hilarious because he's oh, going to get absolutely mollywopped by people who have no clue who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone surrender. Nerd what are you talking about? Uh, the black. Uh, what's his name? Isram. Isram. Yeah, the guy who's. If, if to it's that guy, I, I can't, if, <coughs> if it, that mm. beaten to a pulp. I don't know. Oh, not is. buffing is not good though. I, I don't think it's him. That'd be madness. Sparta, even. <laughs> like half the party is bad as ability train. <laughs> oh yeah, I can do that any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, how am I supposed to know? Because we've asked you. <laughs> No, you. No one asked me. Yes, no, we did. nobody. We did when you couldn't do it. You could when I couldn't. All right. Um. Oh. Well, you're crap. gonna ask me after that. <laughs> uh. Sorry. I, oh. No. Don't do that. Stop. Stop, Damiro. Okay, Arlen. Ooh, All Arlen right. goes first. Uh, oh, that's it. useless. Uh, Widget's base went up because of his awesome. Uh, so he you now has a. Ooh. Arlene has a plus. Plus five. He rolls. Uh, let's roll the d10. He gets two hit points because I love rolling hit points. Oh, yeah, I gotta roll for Mertenza too. Uh, and he gets. Martins. He rolls an 11. Or do I? I gotta check. I need two. Train hit points, cause. Uh, which sheet are you using? Dread Circus. No, oh, not it. Right. Six out of six on two <sighs> ten. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Go, Arlene, you can do it. <laughs> we can heal all the damage Phineas will take. Well, that's a good thing, because Phineas made us go away for a couple days, so our healer is fresh. Didn't have uh, to heal, like, 200 points on a barbarian. <laughs> so that 200 points did not cost me that much healing, actually. Marlin has a whole bunch of... a lot of spells. And I rolled really well, really, really well. <laughs> Cost less spells than you thought it would. Okay. Um, do we have initiatives? Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Uh, Peter in a sec, sorry. Phineas got a 19. Plus four. Plus five. And 19 for... Or more tenzi. Or more tenzi. All right, who else do we have in our... Gang of shenaniganry. Uh, is I guess Barrack would be taking a combative stance. Yep. And Radimer maybe. Oh yeah, Radimer will, will, or he'll protect uh, the Baroness. Okay, so I'll roll for Barrack. Barrack rolls an eight. Uh, the strange creatures get a seventeen. And the. Uh... Popo. The assailant? That's probably a, a fire truck. It's real loud. Yeah, seems to be going down. And another person gets yeah, it. Your mic gain is through the roof right now, Marty. Is it? Just sing us a lullaby. Yes! Oh, there we go! Oh, and it should come down now. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, it just searches for the. Uh, it it uh, it's auto leveling to what it thinks is a voice, and they're 
<laughs> Sorry. We picked up as a thing. Nice. Awesome. Uh, uh, Undwin will just go with... Is it like the NPCs as, as one group? Or... Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, Arlen is surprised. The strange creature... Can creatures pounce? If they Can they pounce on a surprise? Uh, if they can charge... Counts as part of a charge action. So okay. if they can charge from where they are, then yes. Okay. The invisible assailant is um, uh, Phineas. You hear like what sounds like multiple cloven feet running down the hall hallway towards you. Who let a horse in here? <laughs> okay. It looks like a venom. <laughs> uh, when it when it it appears, uh, it is some sort of horse shaped creature uh made out of like a scintillating a scintillating um crystalline structure it has both hooves and claws uh and looks somewhat see-through and it is pouncing at you is this a sp sorry i think i know what this is but it's uh weird. okay so it it pounces with a strange claws on its front hooves and biting it's like a, a crystalline man bent over in horse shape is there a, is there a summoner in this building <laughs> AC 13 What's... AC 18 AC 17 oh my god it rolled so shitty <laughs> I think I Two think seven, all... six. a hey. flat footed Phineas with no spells up has an AC of like 12 it's exactly what my AC is hey oh. I still know how to play this game okay. woo so, uh, do you have any acid resistance? Nope. Okay, so that's 3d4 plus 27 plus 3d6 acid. Ow. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, one of those d4s is a d6. Okay. The bite. <laughs> that staircase was straighter than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> 46 damage as this thing is tearing Phineas apart. That first attack would have been flat-footed as well, but it was invisible. It appears, and it is some strange creature that now that it's done its charge, it's kind of now standing up like a man. Uh, it's got no face or like a weird swirling, uh, a, a weird swirling energy, and it's leaving behind horrible acid stains. Um... I said no poisoning! <laughs> Yeah, you guys heard a horse. You're like, what the fuck? Um, surprise round. Everyone else was surprised. Um, assailant is not going to make his presence known quite yet. Uh, Beric Tarn, top of the round. Arlen, what are you doing? Uh, Ahmed is not here. Oh, sorry. I was muted. That's what that's what Ahmed was doing. What, what is Phineas's health like right now? He's got one hit point left. Oh my god. Why do you have no hit point? What happened to all of your hit okay. points? Okay. <laughs> uh, I assume we can't teleport in this tower. Or dimension door. You don't know. <sighs> this thing has run over and is tearing Phineas apart. It, it okay. is not what, saying anything. Where, where is the... Uh, where are we uh, doing? Are we in... Uh, Conversation. We are kind of off to the side on North, Batapole. Yeah. I'll zoom in and force it there. Yeah. There you go. Uh, what the? Okay. Uh, how far? How far are they? Are the guys? <laughs> they're just. They're, they're like ten feet away behind a door. Hmm. All right. Phineas and I are being attacked. Help us! And I'm gonna channel twice. The light goes everywhere. Hopefully, you can heal all the damage because Phineas is about to get destroyed again. <laughs> Oops. Uh, 44 damage uh, healing. Oh, pretty awesome. <laughs> He touches that he touches that symbol in his forehead again, or that that scale in his forehead again, and light begins to uh, pulse out around him, healing your wounds. The creature it just illuminates a little bit more. Um, strange creature, 
Oh no, is it's turn again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <You're> no. about... <laughs> it's about to be bad. It is no longer uh, charging. It is not invisible, although its attacks are at plus nine. Three at 1d20 plus nine as its claw, claw, and bite. AC 28, AC 12, and AC 26. Uh, the AC... No, I haven't gone yet. AC 12 hits. They all hit. <sighs> okay. 2d4 plus 1d6 plus 9 for each of the strengths, because the strength is bad, plus the 1d6 of acid on each of those attacks <laughs> is 41 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're up. We're up. It's, it's we're weird. Not it's not making any sounds, and its face is just sort of this swirling mess. Um, Mortenzi. <coughs> he he's waiting to be told to attack. Okay. Like he what? has to, he doesn't even pull his hammer. He's just like, <clears throat> you heard me say we're under attack. Help us. I'll protect the Baroness. Go and see what is what is happening. And Radimer will open the door, and he looks outside, and he casts a defensive spell. You're pretty sure it's called Defending Bone because there's a bunch of like shattered uh, thigh bones that are now floating around him and defending him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess Mortenzi's gonna cast Divine Favor on himself. Okay. Interesting. He holds up his mirror. Give me the power. Give me the power, Zorbinius. <laughs> and light comes at the mirror and goes into yeah. his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be one of them days, isn't it? <laughs> and he walks into the other room. Okay. You could get right up to the creature if you want. He really doesn't want to. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't Widget. care if that wizard dies. <laughs> Widget. <laughs> Good way to play your characters, Mark. <laughs> this is going to be one of them days, isn't it? Uh, Widget. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Nobody was supposed to get poisoned. Uh, we're going to cast invisibility on Phineas. Okay. Phineas goes invisible. Can you teleport in this place? Um, I know you can't teleport in. Can you teleport out? Um, only in some places. Not really, no. <laughs> Can you teleport within? Um, I'm pretty sure the spell just hedges that kind of, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, you're pretty sure that the wizards, there's a single ring that is given to the uh, master of the tower that right. allows you to bypass that, which is pretty powerful. Okay. Uh, don't attack wizards in their tower. Don't tower? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, this tower is not yours. No. Yet, <laughs> now that you've tattled <laughs> <laughs> on the health of Tacitus, uh, <laughs> Widget, Widget, he, he, he left me certain... very little choice. Come on. <laughs> there's certain levels... Of um, I, I exercised as much discretion as was reasonable. What what, yeah. what initiative did did uh, Phineas get? He got a nineteen as well, but he's still oh, with it. Uh, okay. Well, he should have gone then because I didn't include. I didn't scroll down far enough to. Uh, just he'll go after Widget. Whatever. All right. Okay. He there will. Is. So he went he after will... after getting hit by that creature a bunch of times. Yeah, he will back away. So he waited till for the invisibility, and now he's backing yeah. away. Okay. Good, because getting away from where the fireball's going to come in a second is probably a good idea. <laughs> uh, he'll get back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. wrong guy. <clears throat> You're going to hide behind the small child or the old lady? I'm <laughs> sorry. There we go. Thank you. All right, he's going to... You throw a bomb. Okay, you're kind of like tossing a bomb as you're as you're running away. It is a precise bomb. Excellent. That's an excellent thing for a guy throwing bombs in a library. Nope. <laughs> Let me just check this thing's resistances. Nope. Yes. Uh, is it resistant throw, to throw bullshit? anything gives you nope. a plus one with. Yep. Yeah. So. 
And I think you're in second range increment. Oh, yeah, you're right. Touch AC 13. 22. Boom! It explodes against it. It's fire. It does damage. The thing is burning up. Let me double check. All right. 46 plus 7. For 15 damage? 15 damage. Uh, does not bloody it. It's burning, but it's still attacking. It's the first damage that was dealt to it, though. Feels good. Beric Tarn is going to jump over the table and move out. Yep. Ha hoo ha ha hee! I'm a I'm a monk man. I'm a monk things. Uh, and he will. He doesn't know what this thing is. So stunning fist. Sure. Sounds like a thing to do. Wham! That, You're that's... looking for um. AC lots. AC twenty seven. No, wait, wait. It charged. Mage armor. Oh, no, it didn't charge. Mage armor, and that spell would be uh, AC 31. All right, I will roll the d20. I did not hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, weird. It's like made out of weird force like magic. It just repels that. Uh, Arlen. Okay, so how many people. Who who's going in right now? Who's going to face it? Face tank this puppy. Uh, you've got uh, okay. Barrack, Mertenzi, and Widget all near it. Uh, okay, Widget who's... doesn't have no buffs up, but he okay. So Widget's gonna get a uh, resist acid, resist energy acid. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Protection from energy. My bad. Okay. Protection from energy. Protection acid. from energy. Acid. My bad. And yeah, Barrack is already uh, resistant to acid. Exactly. Um. Oh wait, I can touch both guys. Yes, we're we're flanking you. We're then, flanking the healer then, man. Sorry, resist energy communal. Then it's going to go on Mortenzi and. Uh, sorry. Okay, so is resist it too late to 20. do that? Nope. Resist. Go, resist. Go ahead. Uh, and I'm gonna playing Pathfinder Kingmaker is giving me a great appreci appreciation for the communal spells. Communal spells, yeah, communal spells are amazing. Um, how far is? It's like, Phoenix? oh, we need this. Everyone's now got it, guys. You know, instead of this, like, hey, you need communal. People. Uh, he's gonna Arlen's gonna wheel himself between the creature and the lady. Okay, so you are back inside the room. Wait, how how much? Fuck, you've got one. <clears throat> um, God damn it! A friend of yours. Says Radimir to uh, to Phineas. <laughs> Phineas is half dead again. <laughs> okay, no, I'll more um, than half. More I'll than channel. Half yeah, I can't. I can't have you go down. I'll channel. I'll channel and off to stay here. Okay. Uh, strange creature. Um. Seems single-minded. But smart enough to chew its way through foes. Thirty-two healing. Holy shit! Six, four, five, six, six, and five. That gets everyone. <laughs> the light comes shining oh, through the open doorway. It gets except everyone, but mostly Phineas because except that's the only one that takes it. For the creature, yeah. okay. creature is excluded from that. How much, sir? Thirty-two. Sorry, was how much? Give me a sec. Thirty-two. Yeah. Arlen, mind your light. Says Radimer. Sorry, I'm trying to keep him alive. And us. Radimer is saying he doesn't want your... I'll exclude Radimer. <laughs> Don't make me lose connection to my god, asshole. <laughs> I'll, I'll exclude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, Mr. and Mr. Pickles is what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> um... Of course, I don't think healing magic does anything to undead. Um, Unless but... I target to damage. Yeah, yeah, but he's still just warning you. Like Alright, the strange creature is going to step forward. The strange creature seems to look backwards over his over his um, um, shoulder towards the, to the empty stairwell that leads up to where this meeting took place. Mm -hmm. um, and then looks at Arlen and is now full rounding Arlen. Good times, guys. Yep. Nap time! If he rolls well, I'm fucked! 
AC 23, AC 28, and AC 17. Hit, hit, hit. 17? Don't we have you? Oh, you have to take your armor I off. I buff anything. I'm not, I'm just a dude in a wheelchair. Do you take acid damage? Is that, no, I don't. Okay, because of the communal. Yes. Okay. Well, he doesn't take small amounts of acid damage. 37. Yep. 37 yeah. damage as it starts, it starts, it starts scratching and, and biting at Arlen. It's still not making any, like, creature noises. 37. That's not good. I'm fucked. Mortenzi. <laughs> um, he is going to cast shield on himself. Wait, the thing looked back? Yep. And then attacked, and then came forward? Mm -hmm. Then attacked, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 37. I have, I have, I have we all understand left. what the problem is. And Bortenzi is sandbagging. Somebody's having a pep talk with Bortenzi. <laughs> Bortenzi <laughs> ca casting shield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's going to go look at the, down the stairs. <laughs> okay, start wandering towards the staircase. All right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a perception check as you're looking <clears throat> at the staircase. Okay. DC's 30. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. I will double check, but I don't think that's happening. Just a second. <clears throat> More tenjis. That could happen. Nope, 23. Okay, you don't have any special senses? No. Okay, so you wander towards the stairs. You go down a little bit. You're like looking around like, what's going on? Widget. Huh. Push Arland out of the way if you could. <laughs> uh, Wheel my ass down the hallway. <laughs> Wee! Uh, I've got the dark <laughs> Push! <laughs> <laughs> I got the brakes off. <laughs> Give me a, wait a second. I've got a power. I want to see what the action is to start it. Um... The tactician is a teamwork feat. First level, blah, 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 standard action. Can grant this feat to all allies within 30 feet, can see or hear him. So, I can grant everybody escape route. What does that do? Uh, it means that if you move through threatened squares, you don't provoke AOOs. Ah, look at you. Uh, sorry, for moving through squares adjacent to you or within your space. So if I move this way, so, I will be safe. Right. Basically, if you... Everybody... Moving around anybody, basically everybody can just run away. Um, move as a group. Right. I could do that, or I could attempt to dispel the foe. I think we're going to go for escape route. Because you can fuck up the dispel. <laughs> because the this the, the, yeah we'll, we'll so we'll grant escape route. Work together. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to, while I do have uh, the uh, automatic blade on my thing, I'm actually going to use the move action to just do it manually this time. <laughs> 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 All right, so everybody has escape route for the next one minute. Ooh. Somebody can pick me up. That would be great. I can heal and do other things. I can cast and heal. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's it's not one minute. It is three rounds plus three. It's six rounds. And I can do this twice per day. Cool. Alrighty, uh, that was how many people does that affect? All, everybody within thirty feet. Okay, Phineas. That even gets uh, more tensy. Uh, it, yes. Uh, and if Phineas is considering himself an ally, he seems kind of like an ally. In this I've already cast spells on him, so he feels okay. allyish to me. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna make fun of him lots, though. Just, just so as he knows. Phineas, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, Phineas is casting... Come get me! <laughs> Yells. 
greater yeah. invisibility on himself. Nice. And he's going to move to grab Arlen and can I grab him and pull him back five feet? I still got five feet of movement left. Sure, you can kind of push him back five feet. Sorry. What's cool is with that power now, just pushing the guy in the wheelchair means no, there's no AOs. Yep. <laughs> so you're pushing him down the hallway a little bit. Yeah. The assailant. Um, doesn't do anything. Bear turn. It's gonna. There you go. Five foot step and. Oh. What the? What the? What the? What the? Key yeah. point. Forget stunning. Just. Well, okay. So he'll. We don't really know that the things are like really, really, really hard to hit yet. So he will use a key point and attack three times. Yep. Got flank. What else? There's no twenties. Okay. Barak Tarn's clawing and punching. Is, and is, is the, yeah, the, AC, the AC, it, it was 30, right? Or it was 31? Uh, 31. Yeah, so, yeah, no. <laughs> Fike's not, not making the plus 8 need. <laughs> okay, it seems to have magical spells protecting it. Skin is super thick, and it's got a force armor. Arlen! Okay. Um... So I can I can do invisibility perch. There's, a, there's an invisible dude running around <laughs> pushing you around. <laughs> this is how cleric this is how cleric solve problem. Oh, he's no, I can be invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like invisible. Um fuck. Alright, so Arlen's going to uh, channel excluding the three folks in here, uh, the monkey, the dude, and the and the, sorry, Radimer, and then the creature. Yep. That that's a move. Fifteen. All right. I'll, you have I'll channels left today after healing. Uh, um... Oh, this is a different day. This so is a different day. day. Be, day. Because, okay. because somebody was being poopy to us. Yep. We got to recharge your batteries. It was actually a good thing. It was this. Uh, correct, Foxfire. I do have that. I also have a dis a despair. Mm. <laughs> bring whole, bring I that think AC. I'm gonna dis <laughs> I think I want to dispel the whole creature though. Um, bring that AC down. I think uh, it's gonna be just as hard as. Can you dis dispel a summon? I'm trying to figure out how. I can't remember how oh. this fucking works. Uh, I'm just going to attack and use the spell on it and see what happens. If it's, this, an, if it's an Eidolon, it doesn't. Dispel magic. I hate Eidolon so much. Summoners. Oh my god. Alright, dispel magic. Okay, so you move action, healed yourself. Uh, Phineas, you took the 15 off, right? Uh, yeah. And you gave yourself 15 hit points back, Arlen? Yep. Okay. I'm doing that. Now, now you're dispelling magic. Are you just. What are you trying to dispel? Um, it's 22. I think you have to first tell me whether it's an area dispel or a targeted dispel. Target the creature. Oh, actually, uh, oh, there's something invisible way over there, isn't there? <coughs> can I do an area dispel? Uh, so, so you can get... you can target its spells with a targeted dispel. A <laughs> counter spell are the only two uses. Sorry. The, yeah, it's the greater dispel has the other stuff. Okay, so just dispel um, whatever protections on the just dispel on the creature. Okay. This goes highest to lowest. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, that's a good go ahead. One d I don't 1D twenty plus caster level. Yeah. yeah. And you just roll it once, and it yep. whatever it gets. It's fifteen. Twenty plus. Okay. Twenty-four, yeah, maybe. Sounds All right. cool, eh? So you dispelled a thirteenth-level caster. Um, you notice that some of it, some of the magic that was affecting the hardness of its skin, kind of crackles and goes away. It's a little less um, um, bark-like. 
Hmm, what spell was that? <laughs> a really effective one for jacking AC. And you dropped its armor class by two. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, it's a shitty one. Oh, great. Fuck! <laughs> you, you also only gave yourself 15 hit points. Don't get... Strange yeah, creature. Well. Five foot steps <laughs> towards Arlen. Yeah, there's a problem. Three at 1d20 plus nine. AC 19, AC 21, AC 29. Great. Yeah, I Great think Arlen threat. just died. <laughs> like, dead. I think he just died too. I think he's dead, dead, dead. Okay. Well, we can do one attack at a time because it's got other opponents. Hey, that crit, though. <laughs> that, that crit, though. That crit. <laughs> the only other person that can reach is Widget. So, one at a time. Uh, 1d4 plus 1d6 plus 9. Oh, you don't take the acid. Okay, 1d4 plus 9. Is 11 damage from a claw. I'm One D four plus nine is 11, 10 damage from a claw. 11, hold yeah. on, 11 and 10, so 21. Yeah, he's still good. Okay. That's bad because I'm at four. You have four hit points and a crit. 43. Coming. All right, I'm gonna roll to confirm the critical. 14. Yeah. Uh, that's close. It's come out. Uh, you can't suck that high. <laughs> Hey, so do actually, I, you're, semi prone, you're semi prone to the chair, so two. that's my. Uh, sorry, what's what is two? My arm, my regular AC should be. Uh, I don't have. I do. I wear my armor, but no buckler. So seventeen, eighteen. Are you a sorcerer now? Yeah. So you don't wear armor, or do you wear make? Do you cast a major armor in the morning, kind of thing? Uh, in the morning, I do. In the morning, I do a major armor. It lasts for what, twenty-four, uh, eight hours. Yeah. yeah. Four and fourteen, and my ring, so fifteen. Okay. Is that so the that... minus two prone. No, nope, that's now the minus two prone. Thirteen. Ninety on the crit table. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's too bad. I liked Ireland. <laughs> Plans for him. Well, we'll see if it just cuts off a nip, because some of these are just like, eye falls out. <laughs> uh, it's just the straight damage is going to kill How him. How do you feel about not having an arm now? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just make a new just, just, just lose an upper thigh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 90 in the crit chart is an, ama awesome. is an amazing critical in a minor condition. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> the amazing critical is really, really dead. <laughs> and the minor condition he's gone. He's is gone. wow, he's dead. <laughs> oh yeah. Hero point for me to divert, divert crit. There we go. Audience hero points. That's um, sure. Take a defensive action. Where where are we? Randomly has a hero point. He is spending it to avert the critical from the magical assailant. Yeah, uh, you are you are looking at this, Phineas. You see the creature just tearing mercilessly at Arlen. It it does not care that Arlen is sitting in a chair. It is using it to its advantage and just trying to get at it. And you can see it wants to get through Arlen to get to you. Um, and uh, you take a defensive action with your hero point. I, I'm invisible. I can't see me. But all right, yeah. Uh, uh, so I believe Arlen has an action he can take. Mm -hmm. You can take yeah. a defensive action of some variety. We would suggest something that would prevent you from getting critted, like a total defense. Yep. Uh, sure. I could take a total defense. Go I, in. I, I, curl up into I, a ball. I still get hit, but you could also take an action to you know channel to heal if you think that you could do enough. If you can out heal 33 damage. <laughs> yep. 6d6. 6 66 or... versus 33 is not good math. No, don't. <laughs> you're not this tired. <laughs> what, what's your, what's your cost? 66 is 36. The uh, average <laughs> is 21. Don't, don't go not there. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. Um. You could mirror image. And make it maybe a 50 50. There you go. That's a mirror image would make it a one in something. Mirror image. You have to defensively cast it, so there's a chance you might screw up the cast. Um, uh, I'll do it. Okay, the DC of casting a mirror image is uh 19. 
plus, tw uh, plus 12. Rolls. You have a plus 12 and you're going to do... Okay. It's... <laughs> You can also take a total defense action, which will make the crit not happen. You'll still get hit. You're likely knocked out, but you're not immediately Bound dead. dead. Yeah, that's you, true. You take 11 damage. I'll take the first number off of that. Also, Daylight, uh, welcome to Daylight Savings Time, everyone. I won't be able to make it to the 3 a.m. of this day because... Wait, what time is it? <laughs> my... <laughs> yeah, like, saving more D&D! &D. <laughs> <laughs> my day's real long. <laughs> right, we'll just keep on... Yeah, we'll just so the I'll go full defense. I'll go full defense. Okay, I'll so go you, take, down, a, you but... take 11 damage? Yep. And now you're you're unconscious in the chair? Yep. Okay. It didn't. So that's me. 44... Or 54... You can thank randomly for that uh, for that save, Mortensi. What are you doing, bud? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> Have you now? He smashes the mirror. <laughs> er. He rages. Who's in here? Is he flanking with? Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's close enough. <clears throat> and I'm gonna change his size. Medium, for he is raging. <clears throat> and he will attack. Okay, the AC of this thing is now 29? 20 freaking 9, huh? That's a perk bug I see. Plus 2 from the flank? Yep. The major armor needs to go away. 16, 17. Oh, you can thank Mark for pre doing a Eidolon build. I know. What? <laughs> I, I didn't do that. That's not my fault. <laughs> Because apparently that's a thing that they needed to do is build a bunch of sample Eidolons at different levels, and they didn't do that. But Yeah, they're really hard to run just by, like, pick up one. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, great, now I have to Pokemon trainer up a monster. Yep. <laughs> 29. 29, you hit it with your massive... Uh, hammer. Earth hammer trainer. time. Yep. Wham! Okay, the hammer does damage, and it does not have any resistances. This is going to be bad for it. Yeah, uh... And flanking, seventh level. Does it take? Uh, it, uh, it, it takes sneak attack. All right, sixty-six. Uh -huh. Plus. It didn't see the hammer coming. <laughs> Wham! Right this side of the face, or its version of the face. Forty. <laughs> Forty damage. Okay, it is now bloodied. It's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> nah! It's sort of swaying its head side to side. <coughs> uh, yeah, Mortensi is pretty, uh, pretty strong. Widget. Uh. So widget. You've got the moving whirly gig in it's, your hands. He's got a spinning whirly gig, and he's in the flank, and he could just whack at it. Um. Plus fifteen. Decent chance of hitting, I guess. Um. Uh, we're just going to try to wail on it because I think we got to put this down. Um, AC 27. And that already includes the flank. Uh, second swing. Uh, AC 18. Nothing. Okay. No, it... It bounced off of its magical armor the first time. Uh, you recognize a mage armor when you see one, and the next one it just mm -hmm. sidesteps the swing. Uh, Phineas? Uh, he's going to give Arlen a Cure Light Wounds extract. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're greater in Viz, so, and not yeah. within reach. And pull him away? <laughs> Yeah, with the uh, with the no retreat thing or the uh, yeah, it's you guys good. are able to just basically go down the hallway. What's your move? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So you give me how much? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, D plus five. Six. Awesome. <laughs> You're not dead. You're not dead. You're not awake. That's good. <laughs> 
That is good. I don't want to be awake. Jam a potion into his mouth and wheel him away. <laughs> <laughs> the creature's weird face following you as you go and then concentrates on the other assailants. Following Arlen or is it following the invisible guy? All right. I think the assailant's going to uh, make his presence known at this point. Ah, uh, there's too many of you. Too many. Who's the hedge wizard? Need a bunch oh. of glitter dust. Do, 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 do. There we go. Never mind the, the name underneath him. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything yet. Uh, Barak Tarn. Uh, Barak Doesn't he have Tarn. dragon sense? <laughs> no. Fire that son of a bitch! Uh, Barak Tarn. Let's see what Barak Tarn does have. Um, he's got... Personality. He's got C <laughs> invisibility. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not he's going to take a moment to meditate. <laughs> And then take a look around the room. <laughs> okay, he sees, he sees over on a staircase where, where Mortensi had run. Uh, there's this, like, very aggressive-looking guy in some billowing robes, kind of going like this and like this as the Eidolons, uh, as the Eidolons um, uh, fighting. He then okay. notices that Berktarn's looking at him and his eyes go wide. Uh, uh, Berktarn, does Berk fly yet? <laughs> I don't know if he flies. Does he fly? No, but he can shoot acid at the guy. No, but, well, you can basically oh, walk speed is right up and corner him if he possibly like is he against the wall? No, he's he's kind of if you went if you went right here, uh, let go. Stunning, go and stunning fist the guy. Right here, you're basically blocking him as he tries to get go down the stairs. So there we go. He's got his back to the banister of the stairs as he's going down. So yep. there there is a man. He's looking he's looking very perturbed that Barak Tarn can see him. There is an assailant over here, is what Barak Tarn says, in his baritone voice. Uh, Arlen, you are stable <laughs> and in chair <laughs> and saved by the gods. Uh, strange creature is going to chew through who hit me for 40 damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Um, uh, the downside of abstract maps. Yeah, that's right. Uh, brr, it's going to try to chew through. Mortenzi. We'll send him. Yeah, away. he's a little tougher than Arlen, though. <laughs> AC 26, 12, and 25. 26 hits. Oh, okay. 1d4 plus 9 damage. This is one of those. Want to fight for the warrior? <laughs> 13 damage, <laughs> slash! <laughs> and then it misses, it, it scratches your armor, and then you twist out of its way, and it's, it's not doing well. Uh, Mortenzi. Oh, it's going to five to step out of the flank. <laughs> okay, uh, Mortensi is going to. And you're protected from the from the acid, uh, the anti-acid abjuration that that uh, that Arlen put up. Part of the team. Twenty plus fifteen. Oh, come on. You see twenty-eight. Just, just miss by on one. Uh, also, there is no flank anymore, so I don't know if you've got that bonus. That, that that's included. Okay. I don't have. It, catch, it catches. It catches the end of your hammer. Tosses it off to the side. You know, this thing's starting to bother me. Is he natural twenty? That hits it. You kind of gave it a little fake, and you're like, "Yeah, it's stupid." <laughs> right across the top of the head. <laughs> Roll the confirmed That'll... critical. It can be critted. That whole it, thing it, about being bothered ain't bothered no more. <laughs> Okay, uh, this will still probably do it, though. Well, there's no flank, so I lose my sneak attack. But still. 31. Yeah. Okay. It had 11 hit points left, so basically, you hit it in the head, it shatters <laughs> into hundreds of little pieces of rock that then go down to the... Uh, that, that kind of uh, patter against the floor, and as they're kind of skipping along the floor, they're turning into wisps. Uh, of, of smoke as if the whole thing sublimates uh, and is no longer there <laughs> you hear kind of a grunt from the, from the staircase 
Motherfucker. <laughs> Widget? Beric Tarn is pointing uh, at the place uh, where the so Attila is. So you're saying that there's a guy over here. Uh, Widget is going to cast the invisibility himself and wander wander up and threaten with the polearm. And the no! disruptive feet. <laughs> no! <laughs> you, hear, you, hear the, you hear the summoner say, Phineas... Casting see invisibility. <laughs> All right, you've never seen this man before. Um, he is human. Uh, he's got some really, really over the top robes. He's got a wand in his hands. All righty. Um, I guess I will murder Arlen. <laughs> While no one's looking, just <laughs> nobody will ever know. Hey, it's the same knife with the poison on it. Oh. <laughs> with the poison scalpel. I uh, really. He's gonna cast. Uh, you have start summoning a monster. Huh? See invisibility is, is what you cast. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, and he'll move up. He'll move in front of Arlen. <laughs> Leaving Arlen just sort of slumped over to No, his he'll chair. move in front of Arlen, so. The assailant. Try to get away. What you got? That's a good question. Merciful fireball? <sighs> just fireball everyone. Ha ha ha! Mark also made the summoner that got attached to this thing. Mark, you gotta... They're like weapons of destruction. You have to keep them someplace, you know, private, like your sock drawer. <laughs> <laughs> what attack spells do we have? Summoners? Yeah, not a lot, eh? No. I believe they're no. called summons. <laughs> it's, it's create pit. That's what you're looking for. It's create pit. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, they're few and far between. Oh, but standard action summon. Dimension door at third level. Weird. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They can. You can have a potion of dimension door if you have a summoner to craft one for you. Okay, so he's going to full defense and just try to fly away. All right, I will whack him. He's basically trying to fly out of the out stunning, towards the door. Stunning fist. Well, there's going to be a stunning fist from the barrack, and there will be a thwack from the widget. Yep. Um, flank. His AC flank. is twenty-two with his spells. So the uh, stunning Fisterino is 25. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> As he gets hit in the kidney. All right, so it does nine damage. Okay, so non-lethal. Your, does your dragon do, I think, a strength and a half or something? He does the double first... strength on the first attack of a round. Oh, never mind. Uh... Wait a sec, is this, is that, then why is this a six? Uh, does he have an item? Uh, okay, so that should actually be 10, 11, that should be plus 11, so five more on that, so 14. 14 damage. Yeah, I believe his dragon stance, he's at the second feet yep. in, the, in that chain. Uh, and then he gets to make a fourth save, right? Yep. Wow. 16. That is not 20. Yeah. Alright, so he drops yeah. the wand in his hand and is stunned. Okay, uh, I'm still going to whack him one because. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to bury this guy five in feet the, away. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> with the, with the <laughs> whirly, whirly gig that got upgraded during the downtime. Yes. So slicing in towards his back. Okay. AC 30. Uh, yep. You get uh, through one. his mage armor. Uh, two plus two plus six. Ah, twenty-one damage. Holy crap! Okay, uh, twenty-one <laughs> damage. Thirty-five. He is not bloodied. 
That's fine. This means we get to beat him some more. <laughs> <laughs> his, his wand appears visible and is kind of like falling down the stairs a little bit. Um, that was the assailant trying to get away. And I guess he's stunned so his movement stops. So now it's Barak Tarn's full... <laughs> Yeah, let's we'll attack as I spit all over let... my monitor. <laughs> uh, yeah, so also the uh, stun stops the total defense. Yep. Flat footed. Yeah. Yep. And so he's flat footed with a minus two AC and then not total defensing. Yep. Uh, so the nice thing about Barrick is he does non lethal because he's a nice guy. Yeah, but we're. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave him with Arlen. I don't, I don't have any. So uh... all he had to do was <laughs> five foot step in. Cause, um, yep. Yep. All right, so and he's he... going to pick in the key point wow, and wow, pound wow, away. Wow, wow. I don't think he has key. Does he have key? Uh, I thought he did. I might have rolled an extra attack accidentally. Uh, oh, uh, oh, no, he doesn't have key. He's too many classes. Uh, oh, he's a shit monk. Oh, okay. Apologies. AC 27 and AC 21. Both are hits. Punchy, punchy. Uh, but, but he's not far enough up his power to get the bonus damage on the second punch yet, right? No, he, he is. He? Uh, he that's, is? Okay. That's, that's one and a half. Okay, so it's it's one and a half and one. It should be listed under his attack routine. Uh, it Dragon style yeah, it, ferocity, flurry, 1d6 plus 8, 1d6 plus 8, or 1d6 plus 11 on first attack. That's weird. Okay. Uh, I was looking at the unarmed attack damage. All right. Um, so 14 plus 12 is 26 non-lethal. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish carrying it through on his flurry. That, that's why it's confusing. Okay. <clears throat> it should say or when it should, it should be this. Boop. Okay. How much damage? 12 and 14? Yep, and I apparently forgot to power attack. That's fine. Twenty six. That's fine. just more more beatening. Yep. Uh, Twenty is fifty. Uh, Sixty one damage. Okay, the guy is really hurt. Oh, was that non lethal? Yep. Because Beric is apparently a nice man. So thirty five lethal, and then twenty six non lethal. 61. Okay, great. Bam! Bam! <laughs> kind of roundhouse kicking him and then, and then punching him in the gut as he's floating away, or as he's trying to float away. Arlen is unconscious. The strange creature is gone. Mortenzi. Uh, praise to Zorbinius for the power to see his enemies. Okay. Does it work? And it's... No, it does not. <laughs> He's practicing. He, does not, he does not have that spell. That, that's not one that you pray for. That's one that you magic out. But that's fine. Mortenzi doesn't know that. Okay. Oh, he's actually pre trying to cast yeah, he, a spell and yeah. <laughs> try to cast a spell. He doesn't power cast. Widget. Awesome. Uh, Widget is going to just. Wail on the dude with the whirly gig for a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so vicious. Uh, AC twenty three. That strikes and, into him, fucks up his robe a bit. Uh, Blood and flying AC everywhere. Twenty one. That is also hit. As you All right. Just push the whirly gig further down into him and keep on pulling the chain. Two D eight plus eight ten. Plus two plus two plus two plus two plus six plus six. Forty two damage. You bloodied now? <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, I, Phineas has how many hit points? Forty three? Forty seven. Forty seven? I, I have forty six. <laughs> He's unconscious. Should I keep hitting them? <laughs> floating, floating there. At this point, it's just the whirly gigs are going. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Phineas, what are you doing? Oh, whoa, whoa! I, we've got him. We've got him. Questions. We need. We need to ask him questions. He drops his greater invisibility. Okay. Uh, and. 
and he checks on him to see if he's dying. Not that he's really a great healer, but uh, yeah, it looks like he's blood. He's bleeding all over the place. Uh, try and help him. Okay, make a heal check. Nope. Okay, he's bleeding some more. Does help someone have a? <laughs> I You're can... alive. I can help him. Oh yeah, we're not all that worried about him though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that worried about him, come on. Uh, uh just checking. Bear Khan's a weird paladin. I don't know if he gets lay on hands. Yeah. He does get lay on hands. I can save him if you want. He will not be tortured, however. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, Radima, you got any healing? R Radimer's <laughs> closed the door. <laughs> Phineas will give him a, a cure late wounds. Okay. Uh, by the time you do that, he's at minus ten. Okay. What kind of con do you give your broken ass summoner builds, Mark? <laughs> it's usually pretty decent. It's more than ten. Per uh, and then. How much did you heal him by? Eight plus one. Heal him six. Okay. Uh, he does not wake up. Your Arthur. friend Arlen will live as well. Baratarn moves over to Arlen and starts laying on hands. Uh, he'll give you three lay on hands. Ten. Uh, that that wakes me up. A widget's going to start stripping the... Yeah, the, he, the mage nude. The mage's invisibility wears off, uh, um, and then um, you're taking all of his stuff. Yep. Do you want to put down the stuff somewhere? I don't know how you're divvying it between um, this party. Don't and... know yet either, but there's right. more of us than there is a him, and he got it. He got done destroyed. So he, he did. <laughs> I think he gets the wizard. We get the wizard stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right. All right. So. so... There, I can. There is a wand. Summoners don't have spell books, right? Okay, I'm I'm healing everybody, but that. <laughs> no, they're uh, they're spontaneous casters. God, that's what I thought. One. Summoners. Summoners things. A wand. How many? How much injury? How much damage do people have? Gaudy robes. Man, they may not be magical. Only, only one. The Eidolon was a CR7. Oh, uh, Mackenzie's got 13. But he waves you away. You, you've got hit, you've got healing. Yeah, he waves you away to show you. So Binius will heal me. Oh, Alright, no. uh, he has a magic mm -hmm. bag. A magic ring. Magic robes. Heals himself for 10. Um, interesting. A wand. Where did you... Actually, three wands. 200 gold pieces worth stuff. of spell components. Oh, we're taking all the stuff. All of it. His underwear was brand name? Done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pink. and then uh, give me a perception check while you guys are taking the stuff off of him. All right. Until we find out that this was like... Some sort of royal. Because <laughs> better if it's not, if we're taking all this. <laughs> 20. Let's <laughs> okay. oh, see. Nine is four damage. Okay. Do you want a perception check? Yep. Um, and he's got a 17. Sorry, I'm just waiting for a my sheet. My sheet. Mortensi got a 31. Okay, Mortensi. Mortensi is the kind of person that. Looks around in things, like <laughs> finds like, things where things aren't. Like, <laughs> oh, let's look at his mouth, <laughs> you know, like, like, like that sort of. Uh, um, What's and, that? <laughs> and Mortenzi, you thought you saw what looks like a magical tattoo on the roof of his mouth. That is so smart. <laughs> look. <laughs> huh. He he makes it visible. He casts detect magic so everyone can see. Okay. 
How did you learn to do that? No, that was pretty okay. clever. This is kind. <laughs> Arlen's looking concerned. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's your cut. <laughs> uh, he pulls out a knife. My cut. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cue balls cut. Oh. Yeah, can you disable that? Uh, I heard Radimir say that... Uh, Radimir uh, you're good door. with tattoos. This tower leaves much to be desired in way of security. Who, who, Phineas is at a loss as to how this died. By. How? The door, there's a damn priest going in and out. Must be it. They're not closing the door behind them. Who is he? I, 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 I don't know. I've... I've I've never seen him before. You're the tattooist. What does that do? Uh, detect magic. Um, wow, that's a really interesting idea. Sticking tattoos in the roof of your mouth that help you with your spellcasting. How does this help you with your spellcasting? Give me a... Silent. Spellcraft, or no, a, um, a spellcraft check to identify. I'm guessing it's a bad magic rod silent in your mouth! 39. Nope. Without the spell. Damn. <laughs> um, this is called the Transmuter's Tongue. It gives you a plus one caster level and plus one DC to transmutation spells. That's pretty good, too. That's pretty awesome. Are you going to stitch that man's inside of his mouth to the inside of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it. <laughs> yes. yes it, it's like, you know, your tongue, you know how your tongue rests, like, kind of like at the yeah. bottom of the top of your teeth, like... It, it is yeah. it is something that you're starting to wonder like this man paid a lot of money to do that yeah and I'm gonna cast transfer tattoo on him to myself okay you have that spell memorized I don't have it prepped I'll have to okay. do it tomorrow. could you arc could you ar arcane bond that uh no because I don't have a familiar can Radimir do it Oh, because you you took familiar, familiar died. You haven't replaced your familiar. Yeah, right. yeah. You could probably retrain that class feature if you wanted. Yeah, I might. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what are you doing with the dude? Oh, we're tying him up for Phineas's. The priests come rushing over. They seem to not know what's going on, and um. So uh, are we getting involved in this, or are we kind of done here? Sort of with a sack of magical crap <laughs> wrapped up in gaudy wizard robes. <laughs> um, I think it's time for us to make our, make our departure. Yes, um, Countess shouldn't be around this. Of no. Not. I do hope that you get your wizard tower in order, Mr. Garrett. Yes. Phineas, would you prefer to have us send some security to the tower? Does that mean that there will be another wizard in charge? I'm assuming that Tacitus may be ill for some time. I could not tell you. I am not privy to his current condition. Well, may I remind you that we came to you in confidence? Oh, of course. Whatever you I've shared with you gets shared with no one else. Okay. She takes out a small pouch, drops it onto the, onto the um, um, onto the table. Um, was there any kind of agreement for the exchange of coin, or nope? But she's paying you, um, my lady. I I did review the documents. Master Tacitus required no payment on your part. Oh, pshaw. Sure. Wizards, wizards are, wizarding is an expensive craft, she says. The, these are exquisite pearls from the coast. Well, uh, on behalf of the Wizards of the Imperium, we thank you for your generous donation towards the art. This donation is towards a particular wizard named Phineas Garrett. Oh. Um, thank you. He seems generally surprised. <laughs> thank you. Um, 
it's greatly appreciated. Okay, she. I believe we've learned all that we can here. All right. Is there anything else you wish to tell us about these things? Uh, I'm trying to think if Mark's trying to think if I forgot anything. My suggestion is, if you require further information, is pay the Imperial Custodian in the Citadel by the Lake a visit. Yes. I will send him a letter and make sure that he is in good health. If you might, please remind him he still has our books. <laughs> oh, which books are those, says Edwin? The books that are not fit for a young man your age. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You're my apprentice. I'd have you doing something far, something far more useful. <laughs> you notice the Countess taking note of that? Well, well, now is your age. I was crafting armor, weapons, jewels. You name it, I could make it now. Your builder? Oh, yes. And an apprentice to the sage? <laughs> he kind of go like... Uh, <laughs> yes, I can craft virtually... I craft all the armor, weapons, magic items, tattoos and, and, for the... And I saw him using alchemy. You're an alchemist too? Yes, I am a licensed imperial alchemist. <laughs> He's... You're all those things? Yes, I am. Do the hard work and study. <laughs> um, I'm sure you know this, but I think that thing was an Eidolon. Uh, I probably know that. Knowledge Arcana. Yeah, 26, automatically, with a 1. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, this guy was a summoner. Yes, he's clearly a summoner. Be careful, he could bring his Eidolon back. Well, not as long as he's unconscious. And his hands are bound, he cannot perform the ritual required to summon it back. And then you also defeated the Eidolon, it may take some time before it can come back as well. Yeah, and when it comes back, it's not going to be <laughs> exactly healthy. It's... <clears throat> it's not having a good day. <laughs> I, I, I know this because I've, I, I'm, a, I'm practicing to be a summoner. Young wizard. Yes! I, I know, um, um, wait, does he know second circle spells? Can he summon the dolphin to go with his puppy? He's third level? Yeah, he knows second level circle spells. I'm just checking to see if he is third level. Yes, I've learned lots of on, on the road, uh, learning from Edward and the others, uh, um, uh, and Widget, he's Miles. I, I, I know second circle spells. Really? How old are you? Um, uh, Thirteen. He, he looks at the lady and back at the boy. That's quite impressive. I know how to summon good creatures, and I know how to make them really strong, and I know how to summon more of them. Mr. Well, Phineas, would you be able to spend some time or, ha or allow um, Unwin to follow you? for a bit? Perhaps learn from you? Well, I would have to discuss it with the other masters at the Conclave. Of course. But I suppose I could teach him a few things if he was willing to learn. <gasps> Nods. That would be excellent. I suppose. However, we want to make sure that the tower is secure. I mean, it's not the uh, best show of uh, capability getting uh, nearly yourself and Ahila murdered in your private conversation. Well, you'll have to excuse me. I don't prepare for war every day. But there are... There Why is, don't you? There is a nice and quiet study at, at our manor that Phineas is more mm. than welcome to come and spend time at. It would be my honor. Um, Chateau de la Plume. He looks a little concerned. Um, your 
granddaughter is not a particular fan of what we do. Yes. Will this be... I don't want to upset her. No more upsetting than me starting up a ludus of my own. An excellent point. She's a big girl. She'll learn the ways of the world someday. Very well, then. I shall make time. Uh, if he makes, like, an afternoon a week or something, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that, 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 that's fine. All right. You could guide him as opposed to being like a like a full time teacher. You could give you could poke around. Yeah, I, I I I think I also want to become well a wizard and an alchemist, or a wizard and a summoner. I haven't really decided. Says Unwin. He's looking worried. You should be an alchemist. <laughs> that's, that's just genius. Just... Alchemy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he says. End of the story. Alchemist. Done. <laughs> Alchemist. <laughs> All right, I'll retrain that later. <laughs> <laughs> Undwin, the true summoner. Yeah. Summoner of truth. Oh, all right. He, he doesn't look as excited about the alchemy. He looks like he's still trying to chew on it. I want to summon three different ways. You know, you could just jump in one different way and then do other things. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get the most out of my feet. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Eidolons. <laughs> that thing beat your ass bad, didn't it? <laughs> right, it took a whole <laughs> party of you. Didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the group of you begins to go enemy. on your on your walk back. The uh, um, the countess just does nod to you. Make sure that he gets his just rewards. Oh, I assure you he will. <laughs> she gives him a little kick as she goes by. <laughs> um, Sir Paltrow <laughs> helping her down the stairs. The monkey oh. goes the monkey goes and jumps on the thing's head before scampering off. My lady, if you should have any more inquiries about any subject, yes. by all means, please just send a note. She nods. They take all the items with them. Yeah. <laughs> all the items. Bring all the stuff. Uh, did you take all the summoner's gear, too? <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. They left They left the tattoo at the roof of the mouth. Yeah, yeah that was, that was that's yeah. in the notes of the treasure. That's his share. <laughs> all right. The, the, the strange mercenary band. It's like they're all Magnus. They're all a bunch of slaves that act like subjects she's running a really loose... I'm not a slave <laughs> <laughs> she runs a really loose ludus uh, yep. as in uh, it's not very disciplined and she puts an incredible amount of trust in them um, not the way I would do it we haven't <laughs> murdered her not even once <laughs> what are you doing with the summoner now that you're oh, he's gonna some... tied up and he's going to call a, a, a shoka <laughs> Ashoka. <laughs> All right, there's Ashoka and uh, and yeah, yeah, he'll send, send a message for Ashoka. Okay, so it is very polite for him to invite us to his tower of wizardry. Yes, very polite. I miss reporting to a tower. You should erect a tower. <laughs> Towers are. Uh... Somewhat ostentatious, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. Kind of puts a target on you. Mm. Yes, perhaps it is better to rule behind the scenes. Although, a tower does feel nice. Hmm. Well, having a tower is one thing. Actually being in the tower is another. Oh, uh, yes, you could turn the, the, the tower into a great, friendly place that gets very unfriendly if people are unfriendly. Yes. No, you do not keep all of your secrets in the tower. No, you just pretend that your secrets are in the tower. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you got Phineas, do you let them in? Yes, he lets them in. Hmm. Ah. You, you saw some priests leaving. 
before the instructions before they left and they didn't do this in front of Ashoka was uh, uh, he's been administered medicines and he's to get his rest. Um, okay. The priest, um, the senior priest, suggests highly that you summon a circle of wizards to um, discuss uh, his health, and that he is willing. The priesthood is willing to come and give their assessment. They think you're his apprentice. They're not telling you everything. They're telling yeah. you to summon the uh, the senior wizards. Okay, he he will do that after he's done with talking to him. Yeah, he, yeah, he'll summon all the, all the, all the guild wizards of the city. Phineas is really lawful, isn't he? He's very lawful. Yeah, yep. he's he's lawful neutral. Like this is the way. This is what the rules are. Whether you like him or not, that's the way it is. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, but Shoko, <laughs> but this guy broke rules. Yeah, <laughs> when, he broke he, rules. He, yeah, went into Imperial Tower and tried to kill one of the wizards. Yeah, he shouldn't do that. And their guests. All right. What do we have here? This man looks like he was not very polite. No, yes. no, he was not very polite at all. It was quite rude. In fact, we had guests, and they interrupted, tried to kill us all. Especially me. Tried especially hard to kill me for some reason. Hmm. He seems somewhat disrobed. Uh, yes, there was uh, the, uh, the other looters, the... Um, Circus people. They were here. <laughs> the circus people. <laughs> the circus people were here. Yes, they were um, here on behalf of... Uh... And was he trying to kill you, or was he trying to kill the circus people? Well, he, he, his, his Eidolon came after me first, mm. twice, almost killed me twice. Were it not for their healer, I'd be dead right now. And were it not for a hero point, the healer would be dead right now. <laughs> not for a hero point, the healer would be dead right now. Were it not for a random werewolf. <laughs> Is it possible to teleport out of the tower? Only if you are the master of the tower. Uh, are we in the tower, or are we just because we're covered? Yeah, we're you're, you're in the tower. Yep. All right. Hmm. Well, we're going to cast a nice, solid couple of charms on him. Just charm him up a couple of times. Make certain it sticks. <laughs> okay, how many charm hey, spells are we casting on the unconscious Hey, hey buddy, we're just going <laughs> to charm person him a couple of times. Did, did we make a ruling? So some campaigns we play, if you're unconscious, you don't get a roll. Sometimes you, if you're... Uh, you're you so you're, it, it's the, you're considered willing for spells that require willing. So you can teleport with people who are unconscious. Okay, got it. All right, so let's go back to his stuff. You can also, like, transmute them and stuff. Like stuff that normally you'd require you to be friendly. <laughs> you I'm a cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got a decent um, saving throw. How many of these do we want? Uh, I've got many. Uh, the DC is... 27, 26, 27. Jesus Christ. 19, 18, uh, 19. <laughs> uh, the DC is 22. Okay. How many more? Uh, I've got another five of them. Okay. You're detecting magic between each one and he's yep. unconscious. So basically, he fail yeah, and then the fourth there. one. You use four of them. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'll where practice they... wizardy mind. You know, it's not, it's not surprising that it took a bit. Yep. Uh, Perhaps you should not be, uh... He came from upstairs? Uh, he... Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there a cellar? Here? Uh, um, yes. Of course there is. All right. We should do this in the cellar. Okay, the two of you bring him down into the cellar. The cellar <laughs> is the same place where you can see the stripped bones of Crixies. Like Crixie's body has been stripped to the bone, and some of the bones have been removed. Like, like he is almost on an industrial efficiency, uh, um, industrialized efficiency, been uh, butchered and all useful parts removed. But there's still the skeleton of Crixie's in the corner, and you're in the cellar of the uh, Tower of the Sage. Okay, uh, we'll tie him up behind a, a like a post or whatever. Sure. Uh, 
will light a candle. Okay. So that we have a little tiny bit of light. <laughs> <laughs> and the maimed imp running around on the ground, <laughs> yep. coming up to the candle with his ghoulish little face. <laughs> <laughs> and then going away. Um, Phineas, are you staying down there for the interrogation? Or are you staying off into the darkness and listening? Or He'll stay off in the darkness and listen. Okay. <laughs> I'll emo like. Uh, we will uh, pull out a uh, wand of cure light wounds and start using use magic device to heal this poor being. Can Nem aid? Uh, I have a plus 21. Oh, okay. So don't roll one. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alrighty then. <laughs> it works. Uh, five. Okay. Uh, <coughs> how much healing? Oh, uh, five, five out of five. combat, so yeah. 69 lethal and 15 non-lethal. I think he's not awake yet. Oh, oh, this, this probably took an hour to get here, so he healed. Uh, Some non lethal. Yeah, eight. Um, and then another five would be three non lethal and 64 lethal. Okay, now he's awake. Two castings. <laughs> the guy sputters awake. Be calm, my friend. Oh, fuck. Fuck you! You remember me, don't you? Uh, oh. Who? What? It's your friend Neza. Neza? Yes. Uh, where am I? It's uh, dark in here. Enough to be into like the dim light for the yep. for the who man. <laughs> um, Nem is giggling to himself in the shadows. <laughs> oh. Let me go! Let me out of here! I'm trying. It's very difficult. Just undo the ropes! Let's get out of here! Where are we? You were caught. Fuck! How was I supposed to know that fucking people were... Fucking guards or something? Gladiators! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking gladiators! Why were you trying to kill the wizard? fucking job how much is he worth uh, <laughs> you're not getting any of it did he die not yet I'll, I'll let you in for uh, 25% he smiles 25% of what um, 10 talents Tend to take out a member of the academy. Wizard. I don't fucking ask questions. Who gave you the job? He kind of looks at you. You know I can't tell you that. Oh, come now. I'm for hire. No, no, they... They wouldn't do that. Because of on the count of the... The whole Imperial Wizard thing. Hmm. Personal Please? school? I don't know. Don't ask questions. Came to me with a job. Said Any somebody... special instructions? Uh, maiming, beheading, body parts be returned. <laughs> I, 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 they come to me when they want it, want it messy. Why would you do it in the tower of all places? Oh, fuck. He, he lives in some fucking gladiator pit. Bunch of weapons and bunch of them. Some fucker named Magnus. Hmm. Some fucker named Magnus. Yeah, some fucking champion or something like that. He lives in, like, the next door to him. Uh, remind me of your name again. What? I forgot. I forgot. It was. It's been, it's been a long day. Drac. Drac. Where are you from, Drac? Uh, some pissant little village south of the capital? Why? 
this is going to go for like three days because Drac is going to be one of the uh, the personas of the um, of the shapeshifter. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Drac the summoner for hire. <laughs> Drac the summoner for hire. So he he ends up hinting that he knows people who know people that make people disappear. Yep. Uh, they come to him. He doesn't ask any questions. He doesn't tell you how, but he, he tells you that there's a certain way that they communicate hit to him um, that just started working out over time. Yep. And it's not only who it is, it's how they should die. Although he doesn't yeah. really care how they die. Uh, he gets his Eidolon to do a lot of the killing for him. <clears throat> yep. I just fucking stand back and just let it loose. It, it's it's like a part of me that, you know, really wants to see the blood and bones torn apart up up close. Yeah, so you're, you're just the messy jobs, right? I, I tried my... I, I tried to impress, you know, the fucking Imperial summoners with their mind games. Nah, I like... There's, there's a lot of money in getting kind of close and personal. <laughs> Did you just get into town here, or have you been around for a while? Oh, I've been, I've been here for a few weeks. I like to stalk them out a little bit, and watching some of the summoning games is pretty fun. I watched the what? final games. Hmm. Yeah, that Magnus is pretty, uh... Yeah, and, and, and a... I kind of got that they fought together. I was a little suspicious of wandering into that, uh, wandering into the, to the Ludus there. So I figured, wait around, saw him walking up to this weird little tower. I don't know, I saw him finger painting with some fuck. Some old fuck <laughs> rolling around in paint. That was funny. <laughs> I was told to, pro uh, I figured that he was some sort of wizard, but it looks like he... Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, anyways, I waited until there was a lot of foot traffic and just wandered in, like I usually do. Fly right in, if not, find a window or something. Mm. <laughs> I have expected our invisibilities to go down, but they didn't. So we waited a little bit, kept them going. A lot of empty space here. When did the? Uh, uh, where did you? Where's? Where are you staying? Uh, let me just check. Stay in. Yeah. Well, I learned a neat little trick. Huts are ropes. <laughs> <laughs> ro is rope trick on the uh, summoner? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Ah, he's got used magic device, and one of the wands is a wand of rope trick. I, awesome. uh, neat little trick. Where's ah. the best spot to spy on this on this Ludus of theirs? Ludus? Uh, probably one of the roofs. Nearby buildings. Which one was your favorite? Well, Eilon's pretty smart. Just cast invisibility and fly on him, and he just go right up to the windows and have a look in. Go to private sanctum on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Go be a big tinted windows all over the place. Uh, well, I can chat with my idol on. They're really quite useful. You should become a summoner. Mental link communication free action. Per good. You get limited to only six circle spells, but I think there's some like ninth sort of hidden in the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a jammed stuff down in the sixth. Like just jammed stuff so, down. So, uh, you gonna let me go there, uh, uh, friend, Nezer? Yeah, I think I can get you out of here. Alright. <sighs> just get my hands free and I'll summon the idol on again. I'll heal it up and we'll be good as new. Perfect. I am studying him. <laughs> I am continuing to study him. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do with Drac? I'm just going to kill him. Um, 
Oh, you're studying him with your with your. I'm uh, studying him, but then I work. Why did why? All right. Boop. Last time I tried, this didn't work too good. So here, we go. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Class power. Uh, <laughs> This is your three levels of assassin and your and feet. five levels <laughs> rogue or whatever. Yep. Actually, a bunch of feats. Uh, so we're going to. Not very polite. Uh, hired, hired assassin. Yes, not very polite indeed. Um, we are going to. Um... Do you have some unpolite enemies, Phineas? It seems I do. Would you happen to know who they are? I suppose Isram the Black is the only one I can think of. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. Why does Isram the Black hate you? Yes. <laughs> be, be, I suppose because I oppose mage dueling? Might I sense your motives? <laughs> <laughs> because I peed in his picnic basket and stole his spellbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a wizard. All right, I'm a ninth level wizard or whatever. Yeah, your spellbook's gone. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a ding, nice little commoner. Ding dong! <laughs> a bunch of spells, and then you turn around and your fucking spell book is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that player's bitching to the DM how he, oh. Oh, his class powers were completely, like, <laughs> gone? <laughs> gone? Mm. I am... Um, I, I may have also... <clears throat> t t taken his stomach. Mm -hmm. But that's the response. That was uh, the snort there. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, in my defense, though, <laughs> he was upset with me before that, even. So it was not the catalyst. Though, I mean, if you're going to send an assassin, that's probably the reason why. Interesting. Do you have any plans on dealing with this, Isram? Um. Well, I suppose I have to come up with something now if he's sending assassins. That's hard to ignore. Yes. His father is quite powerful, though. It's not as simple as simply getting rid of him. You could pay him off, return his spell book. Make a show of submission. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, I doubt that very much. I did have this picture, though, if he ever actually showed up at the Ludus again, of him just going, fuck this, stabbing him and feeding him to Brog. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, he shows up your Ludus. Look at the spells he's going to cast. He's going <laughs> to chuck a cloud kill in. Cloud kill door. inside. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that, if we're being perfectly honest, we might want to take him up on his wizard duel. Oh, 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 no. I couldn't do that. I'm not, I'm not a battle wizard. You don't need to be a battle wizard. You just need to be well prepared. Um, it's not as simple as that. His father is, is from, well, he's also is from the back, but senior, he's also quite powerful. Politically, it's not a good move, killing his son. His son is a hothead. And his son likes to duel. Yes. Accidents happen in wizard duels. Yes, and I fear what would happen to the one who made the accident. 
I have no illusions that I'm so valuable to Lord Vogel that I, he would protect me in any way. He'd simply replace me with another wizard. Hmm. But you are both a wizard and an alchemist. I... A very rare combination. Yes. It's irrelevant. This is interesting. Perhaps, then, it is appropriate to find a suitable surrogate. A, a surrogate for what? For dueling and killing him, as Foxfire suggests. <laughs> There's this double named Fox that I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's Lord of the Fires! <laughs> well, we still have the wizard Ling, don't we? Don't we? He is not powerful enough. He is a battle wizard, though. This is true. He almost got sent off to war, but we got the, the others to go. Hmm. I suppose I could start... I did copy spells from his spell book. Did you know? What types of spells does he cast? Oh, Ling? Oh, uh, Fireball. Oh, no, lightning Bolt. Is the boy. Oh. Oh, Isram. Ah, uh, let me see if I still have that. He casts. I like this scene in the bottom of the dark of cellar with a single <laughs> candle and a body bleeding out beside us. Uh, Forgotten <laughs> your plans of murder. Oh, well, let's go see if he's actually found his spell book. <laughs> if they go upstairs. Has Isram found his spell book? He left it. Return to tower. No? Yeah. Oh, here it is. <laughs> He's flipping through this spell book for anyone to find. <laughs> uh, cloud kill, telepathic bond, confusion, dimension door, wall of fire, innovation, shout, fireball, lightning bolt, haste, fly, invisibility sphere, heroism, rage, suggestion, acid arrow, scorching ray, mirror image, resist energy, invisibility, bestow weapon proficiency, Magic Missile, uh, Mage Armor, Ray of Enfeeblement, Shield, Alarm, and Shocking Grasp are in the Isram spellbook. Hmm. I left it here in case he had a spell to locate the spellbook. <sighs> Apparently he doesn't. No. Was there any divination on there? See Invisibility was on there? Uh, nope, nope. He is. Oh got no, no, he doesn't have it. No, he's got divination as a band school. I didn't hear any divination in that, so I bet he's a evoker with like, like opposition school divination. He is weak to invisibility. Oh yes, Zed can reincarnate. So. This is something to ruminate over in those dark, quiet, lonely moments. <laughs> you are a macabre creature, you know that, don't you? <laughs> so are you, in your own delightful little way. Yes. Right, not macabre, I'm delightful. I mean, people generally don't like me, but that's not the point. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, back at um, the, the Circus of Dread. Uh, we're cutting up that body and sticking it in a sack, and then that sack is going in the bag of holding, and it's getting brought back to feed to... Uh... Nice. So Drac yes. mark down Drac the Summoner is going to be one of the personalities of your uh, of your doppelganger. Yep. <clears throat> At least a it's a person. People seen his face before. He's not really from around here. We got a little bit of background to the details. <laughs> kind of an heir to well. Uh, All right, back at uh, Chateau de la Plume, uh, Countess wants to speak to Arlen and to um, uh, Widget. And I guess more Tenzi has kind of proven himself as like a, a really good bodyguard as he's the one that killed the Eidolon. So there are three of you that are summoned. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I see that we're going to have... To, I see that the Dreaden Circus... Or the Circus of Dread is going to have to take a trip up north. Yes. Um, the plan is to make a list of all the towns we're going to be... That are on the way so that we can get the list of fight out of the way for our gladiators keep up the facade and also to see what other information we can find perhaps there's more